In the vast expanse of our celestial neighbor, where the mysteries of the universe unfold, something extraordinary has caught the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. A mysterious structure, ancient and enigmatic, emerges from the lunar soil. It's a discovery that challenges everything we thought we knew about Earth's only natural satellite. But what secrets does the moon hold that has eluded us for centuries? And could the answers reshape our place in the grand tapestry of the universe? Join us on this journey as we delve into a discovery that has left the world in awe as China finds something strange on the moon, something that defies our understanding of the lunar landscape. In the 9th century, Chinese innovators kicked off the rocket party, laying the groundwork for the dazzling fireworks displays and the whole rocket engine concept we adore today. While they skipped the mid-20th century space race, China dove into space exploration in the late 1950s, hitching a ride on the coattails of the Soviet Union. But when the Soviet Union curtain fell, China spun its own space tale. On April 24, 1970, they proudly flung their first satellite into orbit. From there, it was a slow and steady technological climb, hitting their first major lunar spotlight in 2007 after Chang'e W, China's lunar orbiter, swung into lunar orbit just a dozen days after liftoff. Not many paid attention at first, and it was only after Chang'e dazzled everyone with fresh lunar intel that people worldwide gave China's space journey a standing ovation. But China didn't stop there. They built their own space station, a cosmic sibling to the ISS. This cosmic expansion made China's space station the newest modular playground, with China gearing up to lead the interstellar charge, and especially as it was beginning to make waves in the world of space exploration. China's lunar exploit soon took a thrilling turn. Chang'e 2 stumbled upon an otherworldly substance on the moon's mysterious dark side. The Chinese snapshots revealed an orange-yellow gel-like mystery, instantly sending shockwaves across the scientific community. Many began to wonder if this could be evidence of life on the moon. The Chinese, however, kept their cards close, leaving the world hanging with unanswered questions. Chang'e 2 basked in the spotlight, earning its stripes for a daring feat, roaming the enigmatic dark side, the moon's elusive backstage. Ground control faced a celestial problem, with a whole lunar body playing gatekeeper. The Chinese National Space Administration cracked the cosmic code and solved a major communication puzzle with celestial skill. Interestingly, not only did China have the most launches in 2018, a number that totaled 39 launches in all, and beating out America's 31 and Russia's 20, China equally kicked off 2019 kicks off with an even cooler achievement. On January 3rd, they landed a rover on the mysterious dark side of the moon, capturing even more enigmatic images of our cosmic neighbor. To China, it was a big deal, a feat almost comparable to winning a world championship in space exploration. Doug Ellison, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, got his hands on the pictures and turned them into awesome panoramic shots. These pictures gave us a view from the rover's perspective, showing not just the moon's dark side, but also the lander that brought the rover there. China's got big plans for the moon. Many orbits around the moon revealed that its two sides are like day and night. The side facing us has more flat lunar seas, while the other side is like a crater-covered wonderland. It's like having two different moons. Scientists now believe the far side of the moon is hiding some secrets, and it's thicker over there than on the near side. But we won't know for sure until someone checks it out in person. Astronomers are excited about the back of the moon. It's like a quiet zone with no radio buzz from Earth, perfect for studying stars and galaxies' birth and growth, like a cosmic time machine. The rover is packed with gadgets, has cameras for a moon photo shoot, highly advanced equipment to measure radiation, and a spectrometer that takes cool radio astronomy images. It's on a lunar treasure hunt to find minerals and study how the sun's particle wind dances with the moon's surface. This Chang'e 4 mission is part of China's moon party. First, they sent missions to spy from above, and now they're digging in. The next ones, Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6, are planning to grab some lunar souvenirs, rocks and dirt, and bring them back to Earth. The space ride, part of the Chang'e 4 mission, 
takes its name from a moon goddess in Chinese tales. Launched on December 7 by a powerful Long March 3B rocket, it soared from the 11 Chang Launch Center in the southwest. Since December 13, it's been busy spinning away from Earth's cosmic companion, ensuring its communication and data skills are on point. Since its landing, it's been on a quest to explore the untouched realms of space and run some cool science experiments. Chinese scientists dropped a bombshell in their report, unveiling a sticky substance found by the moon rover U-22 in a lunar crater. They poured over images, cross-referenced with Apollo samples. It's our classic moon rock, but with a twist. It's a rock that's gone gooey, likely from a meteoric smooch. It's a dark green, shiny mass that's more glassy than our grandma's fancy wear. Discovered in July 2019, it earned a rather peculiar tag, gelatinous. A glassy stuff, different from the regular moon dirt, gave them a bit of trouble to figure out. The dim lunar light made it tricky to spot things clearly. Only about 38% of plagio classes could be identified. Surprisingly, this glassy material didn't stand out much from its lunar surroundings, hinting that it might share a striking resemblance with the rest of the moon dust. But here's where it gets interesting. This moon oddity has a mysterious dark green hue and measures about 52 by 60 centimeters. In a scientific paper printed in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, brainy folks from the Chinese Academy of Sciences tell the secret. They called this lunar enigma a dark greenish glowing impact melt brescia. It was discovered in the von Karman crater, hanging out on the far side of the moon, away from the hustle and bustle. The researchers compared the moon rover's snapshots with samples from the American Apollo missions. They found that this mysterious greenish object resembled the Apollo samples, hinting that it might have formed in a wild lunar collision. On December 1, 2020, the Chang'e 5 mission pulled off an epic lunar touchdown, wrapping up a 23-day space adventure. This dynamic dual probe took off like a rocket from the Wen Chang spacecraft launch site in China's Hainan province. This launch site has seen its fair share of action, catapulting predecessor probes like Chang'e 3, tons of satellites, and even the building blocks for the Chinese space station. After a victorious separation from its orbiter companion, Chang'e 5's lander gracefully set foot in a lunar hotspot known to scientists as Oceanus Priscillara. It's a vast, flat region near the lunar equator, hanging out on the far side of the moon, flaunting extreme breadth and the close company of the towering 5,250-foot-high Mons Rümker. The Chang'e 5 mission wasn't just a joyride. It had a laser-focused objective. Weighing in at nearly 8 tons, this interstellar explorer was on a quest to snag lunar samples and haul lunar rock back to Earth. It was the first time in four decades that such extraterrestrial goodies were making a comeback trip to our home planet. Recent discoveries hinted that the moon might be a whole lot stranger than we ever imagined. Some even dared to dream that the moon held a treasure trove of minerals that could be the key to solving our energy crisis. The mission's drill, aboard a craft, that orbited the moon, carefully collected samples from deep within its surface. People around the world held their breath as the spacecraft, after only 14 days, began its journey back to Earth. China, with this triumph, officially joined the elite club of spacefaring nations. As the world celebrated this achievement, scientists eagerly awaited the return of the lunar samples. International researchers were buzzing with anticipation and the moon spilled its secrets, offering new perspectives and groundbreaking insights that surpassed everyone's wildest expectations. On December 17, 2020, the return capsule made its grand entrance into Earth's atmosphere, gracefully touching down in the vast, scarcely populated landscapes of Mongolia. With the samples now safely in hand, the experts wasted no time diving into their work, fueled by a clear sense of excitement. The burning question lingered in the air. Would the drillings validate the existing theories on how the moon came to be? Or was the lunar interior harboring a completely different revelation? But even before the capsule arrived on Earth, some astronomers had begun to piece together what its samples could imply. According to these experts, a planet the size of Mars collided with Earth more than 4 billion years ago, setting the stage for the moon's creation. In the chaotic aftermath of this celestial collision, a fragment of our planet broke free, 
shrouded in molten rock. Until this moment, the prevailing belief was that the scorching temperatures of that era had forever banished any traces of water. The moon, in our collective imagination, stood as a desolate celestial body slowly withering away, similar to a cosmic prune. Recent discoveries have added a splash of intrigue to this lunar narrative. Telescopes and probes, working tirelessly in the past months and years, have unveiled a surprising twist. Near the lunar poles, hidden within craters, lie substantial deposits of water ice. Suddenly, the once arid and shriveling moon is challenging its parched reputation, revealing pockets of frozen water that defy previous assumptions. It's as if the moon, long thought to be in a perpetual state of drought, has secret reservoirs waiting to melt perceptions and rewrite its watery history. The story took a turn, and suddenly everyone was buzzing with questions about the ice chilling on the moon. We've been snooping around up there for over 50 years, and no one noticed this frosty surprise until now. NASA is gearing up for the Artemis mission, planning to shoot astronauts near the moon's chilliest spots within the next decade. Once they're there, these space explorers are on a mission. Figure out if the moon's water stash can be put to good use. Why is everyone so hyped about moon water? Humans sipping on moon water, plants chilling on the lunar soil, and fuel getting cooked up right there on the moon. Changi 5, the cosmic detective, just threw a curveball into our lunar daydreams. This rover found the unthinkable on that tiny, inconspicuous celestial ball we call the moon. Water, and lots of it. So here's the scoop from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. They were playing with drill samples from Chang'e 5, and they stumbled upon a bunch of tiny glass particles. These little crystals probably popped up when meteorites crashed into the moon. Some comets might have hitched a ride too, bringing water along for the lunar party. Now, that water is frozen at the poles, giving the moon a cool, watery secret. When we talked about a lunar plot twist, the researchers took a good look at those impact glass beads. They were in for a major surprise. Turns out, hidden inside those beads was water. Each tiny bead only holds a bit of water, but when you put them all together, it's like a lunar water extravaganza. These beads are so small, not even a millimeter in size. When you tally up all the water in those little beads, it's mind-blowing. We're talking 2,000 parts water for every million parts in each crystal. In every metric ton of lunar soil, there are a whopping 2,000 kilograms of water. Under normal Earth conditions in liquid form, that's like having 2,000 liters of water. The chances are high that these glassy particles are spread out all over the moon. The moon has been getting bombarded by comets, asteroids, and meteorites for billions of years. It's like a lunar water party that no one knew about. It turns out the moon might have a bunch of water all over the place, from the equator to the poles, this means that when people eventually head to the moon, they don't have to make a beeline for the poles and go through all the trouble of dealing with icy water there. Instead, they can find water pretty much anywhere on the moon. They can get to the water by heating up these little beads. It's like a water treasure hunt, but with less digging and more science. Moon settlers can easily get their hands on some fresh water wherever they decide to set up shop. Chinese researchers went the extra mile and showed that the water trapped in these lunar crystals has a cool origin story. Apparently, it was made by the sun. The sun's positively charged hydrogen atoms somehow got into these glass beads and mixed them up with the oxygen inside. It's like the sun left a little water surprise for the moon. Now these glass beads aren't just sitting there. When they get heated up by the sun's rays, they can release some of that hydrogen charge. It's like they're giving back a bit of what they got. The total water stash in these impact glass beads is estimated to be around a whopping 298 billion 700 million short tons. A whole lot of lunar hydration, according to the smart people who keep track of these things. Moon settlers are basically sitting on a water gold mine. In 2010, NASA did some moon math and found that the North Pole was hiding a whopping 661 million 400 thousand short tons of water. This was a huge surprise, as everyone used to think the moon was drier than a bone. Turns out it's got its own little water party going on. Earth, our blue home, has about 1.47 quintillion short tons of water. The moon's stash is pretty impressive. We dreamt of a chemical or mechanical makeover, turning those water glass beads into flowing streams. 
but it won't happen. The moon's got no chill, no atmosphere, crazy temperatures, and almost no air pressure. Since the moon isn't super packed and its magnetic field is pretty weak, it's not likely to undergo big changes anytime soon. But when it comes to Mars, liquid water used to flow there, confirmed by signs of erosion popping up multiple times. Bold plans to transform frozen Mars water into liquid form, creating seas and lakes with a man-made greenhouse effect, are in the works. Still, some experts aren't entirely sold on the idea. Those glass beads tell the secret of more than just water. The latest jaw-dropping discovery might just spark a mad dash to the moon. The samples the Chinese space probe snagged are one of a kind. Pulled from deep layers, they're a billion years older than any samples nabbed from the surface during the American Apollo program. These glass beads, shimmering quietly, have been shaped over an unimaginable span of two billion years. Picture colossal collisions with meteorites, asteroids, and comets, each impact similar to the force that obliterated the dinosaurs 68 million years ago. The moon, despite its petite celestial stature, has endured these global onslaughts with surprising resilience. Scientists speculate that the moon owes its survival to a combination of factors, including its lightweight construction and a protective layer of thick dust. This lunar orbit, though small, has weathered the turbulence of its global existence, birthing a hanging of peculiarities that might hold untold benefits for us in the future. It's almost like the moon is a cosmic survivor, adorned with beads that tell tales of celestial battles and triumphs over the eons. Chang'e 5 stumbled upon another moon treasure, a crystal that's like the lunar version of a hidden gem. This isn't just any crystal. It's like the moon's own little secret made of a material that no one on Earth knew existed. When scientists got their hands on this lunar bling, they were both mind-blown and speechless. Because this crystal turns out to be a game-changer, it's got the key ingredient for nuclear fusion. Imagine if we could crack the code of nuclear fusion. Earth's energy crisis, solved. Up until now, we've been riding the nuclear fission wave to meet our colossal energy needs. The aftermath is a radioactive mess that's causing headaches globally. Nuclear fusion is like a cosmic dance where lighter atomic nuclei come together to form heavier ones. It emits way more energy than the nuclear fission party we've been crashing. No radiation baggage for decades, physicists around the world have been chasing this energy dream. But it's been playing hard to get. The pressure and energy needed to make these atomic buddies fuse is a tricky balancing act. Maybe this moon crystal is the missing puzzle piece. Imagine we stumble upon a magical rock or a tiny particle that's just itching to join the fusion party. It's not a daydream, it's a reality check. There's this cool phosphate mineral. They've given it the snazzy name Changes at Y, a shout out to the awesome mission and the Chinese moon goddess Changi. These Beijing researchers are on a mission to figure out if this mineral powerhouse packed with fusion-ready helium-3, is the real deal for Earth. We might be on the brink of a lunar mining extravaganza, spaceships hauling moon rocks back to Earth like it's a global delivery service. Our planet might finally catch a break, at least for a little while. The Shangyu-6 mission is gearing up for another lunar treasure hunt in 2024. Who knows what kind of mind-blowing samples they'll snag from the far side of the moon. Earth might just be in for some out-of-this-world surprises, Exciting news is buzzing around, and even NASA's got its eyes glued to it. Just a chunk of 27.6 short tons of helium-3, and the entire U.S. could light up for a whole year. That's like stuffing a space shuttle with it. It's valued at a whopping $3 billion per short ton. The moon might be the next jackpot. It's like a cosmic gold mine waiting to be tapped. Imagine the Artemis program getting a turbocharge from all this lunar frenzy. It's like the moon's becoming a celestial hotspot and we might witness a new space race right under our noses. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.